What is up guys? Hey, this is Brad with Spike Fitness and I am in my transient barracks room in, uh, in Korea. So what this whole thing works out is you come in and you got to spend five days actually in processing, uh, you know, the peninsula really. You go through some cultural awareness briefs and a whole bunch of stuff. But in the interim, they have you in these barracks, so it's not your final destination. So it's kind of like, it's a pit stop. And you get all your stuff, right? You're dragging all your crap all over whatever it is that you brought with you. And these rooms aren't really meant to be all that accommodating. So there's really nowhere to sit or a desk to set up at. So I improvised. And I turned one of these wall lockers here on its side. And I, um, you know, made, my, made myself a little standing desk. Well, apparently, I may or may not have pissed off the cadre, and they left me this note saying, this is not my home. Please remove my personal items and restore the room to its original state. Love, cadre. They didn't write love, though. Ugh. Whatever. Um, <laughs> just, just trying to set everything up so I could have, you know, kind of a stable base uh, to work on some videos and, uh, and get some things done that I want to do with the channel, so feel so bad. Anyway, all that notwithstanding, I'm going to maneuver over to the gym, um, get some squats in, I think, today, and then uh, try to go get some food with a buddy. So I'm going to unass the barracks room here in, in short order. We're going to move over, hit some squats, and uh, it'll be a good time. All right, here we go. All right, guys, let's get into this. So let's Let's talk about why I'm calling this video security blanket. And you know, I, I want to show some some video of me here training at this uh, at this new gym. This is still as I was getting settled. As I as I record this voice voice portion, this is now several weeks ahead of where this video is. Um, you know, so I'm looking back on this video and, and kind of recollecting what I was going through and how I was feeling. And this is coming right on the the tail end of me having to uproot, leave the leave the United States leave my family uh, and you know all the things that I've come to know all the things that I've come to accept as normal and um, you know what I try to find is some sense of balance or something something to kind of ground me and that's the gym right um, and so I use the gym and I use my training as a, as a method to kind of keep me grounded and keep myself centered and try to try to find some sense of security uh, so in that sense I, I use the gym like a security blanket and so you know I'm kind of going through motions and, and doing what I know just so that I can you know feel some sense of balance and feel some sense of comfort also kind of to point out here I'm, I'm hitting without belt without knee sleeves without my shoes you know ordinarily I, I would never ever do that you know I you know I, I became too uh, tied to those items you know um, so during this transition I, I didn't have those with me so it forced me to kind of go outside my comfort zone and, and use some some weights and do some things that I wouldn't normally do you know, without my belt, without my knee sleeves, without my uh, shoes. And so that's kind of what I'm talking about, you know, security blanket. We get ourselves uh, wrapped around some sense of comfort, some, some sense of normal. And uh, sometimes when we get taken out of that, you know, either by choice or, uh, or you know, by the events of the world, sometimes it's kind of hard to wrap our heads around that. So, you know, for any of you guys that are out there that are having a lot of things going on or having something going on that's completely outside your control, I hope that you get in, you find the gym, you find your sense of normal, and you can use that as a security blanket kind of get you through those hard times and so that's kind of what I wanted to capture here is kind of getting back to some sense of normal there you go I'm back in the hotel room or the barracks room rather and I'm changed up and go get some dinner with a friend of mine and um, yeah I'm gonna call it a night I want to kind of acknowledge I, I've, I've heard people say that they have a hard time hearing me I try to speak up as much as I can on the camera here on the audio but um, I shoot on a GoPro, right? So the audio on that is only but so good, and you know I don't always have the ability to like yell. Um, so I'll, I'll try to hopefully be a little bit better on audio, you know, when I can. Um, but for anyone that has a hard time hearing me, I apologize. I certainly am not doing that on purpose. Um, you know, at some point in time, uh, you know, my hope and expectation is if I can grow the channel enough to get to the point where I can kind of re-monetize because I'm not monetized at this point. If I can re-monetize um, and try to, you know, hopefully, you know, build up um, through earnings on the channel and use the that to basically upgrade the channel. Better camera, better audio, stuff like that. So those are definitely things that I hope to be able to achieve long term. And, you know, all the subs and all the views and all that stuff 
definitely help me to that end. So, um, you know, to that, you know, please help me with those those likes, the shares, and the subscribes. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, I, I really would appreciate it if you did. Um, the video today was just a quick one, a quick session, getting out to the gym. Um, the, I did 455 um, by five sets, three reps. It was pretty uh, pretty good. And then I hit a one signal at 495 just to kind of put a little bit of extra weight on my back. It felt pretty good. So um, that's basically a, a post-operation PR. And I did it all with a belt, without a belt or knee sleeves. Pretty cool. Anyway, you know, just trying to show you guys my transition and kind of getting integrated here and getting myself established and then kind of what I'm doing to kind of keep going, keep training, um, you know, all the while. So hopefully, you know, for whatever you guys have going on, whatever amount of transition or turmoil you have in your life, you know, hopefully at least seeing me kind of staying with it and going through everything I've been going through gives you some some small measure of motivation to kind of keep after, keep after it and keep going and keep pushing yourself. So I hope that you do. Remember guys, uh, no matter what it is you think you can't do, like, you know, find a solid base and, you know, go through a lot of transition, get an in-train despite. You're either going to find an excuse or you're going to find a way. And I hope, like me, I hope you find that way. Thanks for checking out this video, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.